everyone is in their seats here at the Wells Fargo Center as the 76ers look to grab a win here in Philadelphia. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me, former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sidelines. And for the Milwaukee Bucks, they come into tonight's game after the loss to the Wizards in Washington. And that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart. Yeah, they played hard. They drew fouls. But they could not convert at the line. Leaving points at the free throw line can take the edge off of a team. You're playing physical, you're playing hard, and it's just not paying off. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Now here is Holiday. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark. Right now, he's averaging about 19 points a game. No good from outside. Harden outside. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Here's Holiday. First quarter, just over a minute played. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Pass to Portis. At Giannis. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And Embiid with the block. Embiid with the steal. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. Harris looking it over. Pass to Embiid. It's so bad. It's a Kumbo. Here's Holiday. Shot from 16. Giannis and Giannis gets it to go. Assistant and to me, this is the perfect spot for a Giannis jump shot. Keeps the opponent honest. Harden right side. There's Embiid. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And a big issue for teams, Greg, this time of year, keeping players healthy for the long haul. Coaches, we're seeing, starting to adjust rotations, keeping an eye on guys' minutes. And, Kevin, it's such a long season. The teams have to keep the team. At the line and for one. certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. To the middle. Here's Portis. They get it back. The 76ers trail. Outside, Maxi. Pass to Tucker. And stolen by Portis. And here we go. Giannis up top. Two minutes remaining in the first. Middleton Two inside minutes. the three-point line. And the Bucks miss again. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team a that three. plays hard, Bucks focuses. And the Bucks with possession. Milwaukee. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Down low. There's Portis, and they call the foul. The Sulepo's evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. Now here's Harden. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Tucker. Here's the three. A shot missing. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling, a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie, never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Now, here is Holiday. 
it to Kumbo inside. And he makes the first. And, the line and Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. Harris outside. The 76ers again can't hit it. Over in the corner, Allen. Castellanos. The shot, no good. Good D by Embiid. Philadelphia moving the ball over. Here's Tucker. And the dunk by Embiid. The reach of Embiid with his size and wingspan, he's a real threat on the offensive glass. Not in the cheek by Antetokounmpo. Uh, an amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Here's Harden. And so the first quarter is in the Bucks. Bucks leap. Your 76ers. This one. All right. What we saw in that first quarter, they won their matchup defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. Pass to Maxi. And beat inside. And out of bounds. Bucks leading by seven. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. Here's Holiday. That's a miss. His second after two shots. Martin looking it over. Over Allen. Rebound Milwaukee. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. Harris misses. Defense kind of rolled the dice there. And I'm a little surprised that they ended up going their way with the miss. The assist. And this is Middleton's game. He's thinking of shooting it even before the pass hits his hands. Now, here's Maxi. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Tucker. Launches it. Another miss by Philadelphia. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Here's Harden. Takes the three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. He's just basically a body out there right now, nothing else. The team is struggling, and he hasn't been able to help them out at all. Middleton on the wing. Inside. Just five on the clock. Now a timeout Milwaukee called by Milwaukee. Timeout. And home court. Just three to shoot. Outside Carter. Rebound by the 76ers. On the wing, Milton. It's Harold, top of the key. Back to Milton. to Harold. He's off on that one. Good D by Lopez. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harold. Here's Ingles. Connaughton with it. Here's Lopez. Milwaukee. No good that time either. And the great shooters know when they've Two got enough opening to half. go for the three. Two I didn't minutes. think it was a bad choice on that possession. Buffalo foul. First team foul. 151 left in the first half. Pass to Milton. Here's Niang. 
Four on the shot clock. To end the cold streak. They get it again. Harold tries again. Got that bucket. Niang's got his first basket. Smart decision to kick it out to another guy once the defense is fixated on him in the paint. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. Yeah. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting That's from good from Carter. Javon. Both good from the line that time. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. On the wing, Melton. To the inside. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Here's Harrell. Plays it up and banks it in. Harrell's got his first points of the night. Uh, the dogged intensity Harrell has, particularly Second. on the glass. The Bucs shooting their 7th and 8th attempts at the foul line tonight. Third. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. Here's Ingles. Not going to go that time. Great D that time from Harrell. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And here is Milton. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to House. Back to Milton. Driving to the basket. And uh, one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. That's the end of the third half. With the and that concludes the first half. The 76ers. The Bucks up. 10. The Bucks. 19. The 76ers trailed by nine. Here's Milton. Lopez with the block. And we have seen Lopez really improve his shot blocking. Adept at using that length to alter shots. Now here's Connaughton. Now the 76ers on the break. Here's Harrell. Finish off the break. Harrell's got the first bucket of the third here for Philadelphia. <laughs> Guys, not much more a defender can do in that situation. Harrell with the focus and the strength to just power through the contact. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Now, here's Melton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. And it's Harrell missing. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Back to Connaughton. To the paint. And the dunk by Lopez. Lopez. And even though Lopez has taken his game farther and farther from the basket, he can still punish you inside. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Clean start to the half for them, knocking down their first three shots. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Milton with it, and it's Carter picking him up. A shot by Milton, no good. Out of halftime, not the way you want to execute. Just one of five from the field. A nice shot by Carter. Three points. Carter's got six here in this quarter. 
Oh, great ball movement there. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Stolen by Carter. Here's Yacht. Yacht in the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Oh, yeah, they're doing a terrific job not giving this hostile crowd anything to cheer about. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. The 76ers trail by 19. And the picture of consistency, Chris Middleton is Racing. like a metronome. Gives you 20 points over five rebounds and assists every year. Pass to Harrell. The 76ers again can't hit it. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. And one reason for Middleton's consistency, he plays at his own pace. And that's a great point, Kevin. With his size and shooting touch, he doesn't need to blow by his man to score. All about getting 